What's up guys, this is Ghoul97 with my Pikachu plushie. Yeah, basically we're gonna we're gonna cancel a new heterophobe. And of course, she's a neurotypical white woman who pretends she is a man, a gay man, so she can try to get with gay men. I know Pikachu, it's very it's very pathetic to pretend you are a gay guy or a lesbian woman to try to get with lesbians or gay men and guilt trip them by calling them transphobic for not liking penis or vagina. That's right, Pikachu. She's been making a lot of ridiculous tweets on Twitter lately. She's been making a name of herself on Twitter and TikTok as of lately. And I'm going to show you some screenshots right here, right now. Yeah, basically this chick has been... Has been trying to freaking... Uh, has been trying to organize an entire, her, entire orgy to genocide straight people. Yeah, she's been talking about how she wants to get rid of straight people. Even though she's a straight woman herself, but she pretends to be a gay man. Don't worry, Pikachu. She and her orgy won't be able won't be able to do much. They can't even freaking they can't even use a lawnmower. Yes, Pikachu, they are pathetic. But anyway, according to the Holy Bible, evil in the end days, evil will be called good and good will be called evil. And she's being called a good person for wanting to hurt straight people. And I'm being called evil for not agreeing with it. So that's the end day. So we all know this is how the end times are coming. But on an unrelated note, as an autistic person, yes, I have special interests. And one of my special interests happened to be VHS tapes and other vintage technology. This is one of my, my favorite possessions, the VHS head cleaner. Of course, my favorite beside the Bible, of course. Yes, Pikachu. The heterophobes are gonna try to attack me for making this video, but I don't really care because they're a bunch of conformist zombies racing to their graves. And we and we are going and me and my fellow Christians, we will see the kingdom of God. We will see the kingdom of God while they won't. And once they're fight or thrown into the lake of fire, they're gonna re, they're gonna freaking see what they did. They're gonna look back what they did, and they're gonna regret everything. They laugh now. What's up, guys? This is Gould ninety seven, and we're gonna play. Spider-Man on the Nintendo 64. This is Spider-Man on the Nintendo 64. I had this game since I was four years old. I remember when I was four years old, I played this game. I was either three or four at the time. I don't know. My grandfather got me this game. And I always, me and my cousin always loved playing this game. I used to love playing this game, and I used to love watching my cousin play this game. He was awesome. He was better at it than I was. When I was a kid, I was I sucked at this game past level three. But as an adult, I became better at it. Alright, let's do this. Signal detecting. No signal. What the fuck? Sorry, I shouldn't be saying the F-bomb. As a man of guy, I shouldn't be saying the F-bomb. My bad. There we go. I had this game on my PlayStation 1, but I don't know where it gone. This is before I went to my... And that was before... Yeah, when I had the PS1 version, that was before I moved in my, my abusive stepfather. I'm not going to get into much detail about that. That's for a different video. Yeah, the thing about my abusive stepfather, that's a different video. That's for a different video. Maybe if I get a thousand, if I get, if I get a thousand subscribers, I might talk about my abusive stepfather. Captain Universe.
The bank heist. Welcome, true believers and newcomers alike. Spider-Man co-creator Stan Lee here. Once again, we find our hero Peter Parker, better known around the world as the amazing Spider-Man in a heap of trouble. But this is just the beginning, Spidey fans. So get ready for a true superhero action thriller packed to the brim with thrills and chills, twists and turns, more super villains than you can shake a web at, and of course, non-stop web-slinging, wall-crawling action. That gives me so much nostalgia. I'm going through a nostalgia hey, trip. Spider. Hey, Black Cat, what's going on? Black Cat is hot. I know there's been some trouble, but the bank's being robbed, and they've got hostages. Use your spidey compass to get to the bank quickly. Thanks, Cat. You guys think Black Cat would go for a femboy like me? Nah, probably not. Who am I kidding? Hopefully, I go for tomboys anyway. I love tomboy women. What's up, Cat? Spidey! That's a web cartridge. You can carry up to ten of them. Alright, I'm going to try this. It's tingling. Something's going on here. I love Spider-Man. This game is so awesome. Big part of my big staple of my childhood. Okay, that backfired. But oh well. Peekaboo! Hey, dumbass. I'm over here. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> made you look, made you look. Yeah, made you look, made you look. This is awesome. Oh, by the way, yes, that guy, I mean, that girl, she pretends she's a gay guy to try to get with gay guy to try to get with gay men, and she can guilt trip people by calling gay men transphobic for not liking vagina, and that's a dirty trick. That's a very dirty trick. So shame on that freak, freak. freak. For doing that. Whoa, I didn't expect shot. that. I can't believe they shot down those police choppers. Yeah, just my luck. I'll probably get blamed for that, too. Is that the bank ahead? Yes, but be careful, Spider. I saw the chopper dropping off armed robbers on top of the bank. Thanks for the heads up, Cat. All right, to be very careful here. If I jump forward and then swing, I'll be able to reach the next building. Yes, I know how to play this game. I just, I just love the nostalgia, okay? I, I sometimes like the nostalgia of the question marks, okay, guys? <laughs> My adulthood depression really diminishes when I when I play any games like these. When I'm hurt, these will help restore my health. I wish I had a PS1 version, but maybe I'll get I'll, maybe I'll get it someday. Through the top of this building, Cat was right. It's the Jade Syndicate. <laughs> it's them. You're shooting at nothing, freak. That's the last one. Still all right. Here we go. This game has quite the kick-ass soundtrack, doesn't it? This game has a kick-ass soundtrack.
Thank you. Looks like that. Looks like these switches can open the security doors. Two of five hostages safe. It's funny how they, they don't notice me. Man, I love Spider-Man. Speed is zip up. Bye bye. This is the best Spider Man game. This is the best Spider Man game ever. No doubt. This is the best Spider Man game in the world. Going down? I'll go get my water quick. There we go. <sighs> Did your mom ever tell you to play with guns? Pretty cool, man. I get it safe place. Yeah. This is a good Spider Man game. I was a newcomer when I played this game first. When I first played this game. Not this time, guys. Whoops. Yeah, you know? yeah, my kitties are sitting on my cat tree. Me. Hey, kitties. Here's my cats. I have three cats. One of them is in front of the record player. That's on my TV's on. Yeah, my grandma gave me that record player before she passed away, of course. Ah, that guy didn't notice me. I love this game. This game deserves a remake. Hey! Open. The sooner we take out 
Spider-Man. Well, the boss is not going to pay you this time. Because you're not going to take me out. No, my time's not running out. Yes, I made it a bugle. Gotcha. You know, I noticed something about this game for years. You know, the freaking the police and the SWAT team have the same voice lines as the henchmen and the thugs. I wonder why is that? Are they trying? It was never soft trying to tell us something, or was it because their their technical limitations of the time? You decide. Let me know in the comment section down below. Biscuits. They really want me. If only a tomboy would want me. <laughs> oh, tomboy. A tomboy. Duh. Oh, bleed biscuits. Holy biscuits. This is crazy, man. on the hotel sign. If only they were this they were this determined to capture real criminals, am I right? Enough of the shooting already. Here we go. Nowhere to go but up. 
I know they made a Spider-Man, they made a sequel to this game in 2001 called Spider-Man 2 Enter Electro. Enough with the shooting already. Chase Venom to his hideout. I'm chasing Venom. I'm coming to you, Venom.
Here we go. Here we go. I'm back here, Venom. Where are you? Biscuits. Gotcha. Well, I, got, I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on my Truth Social. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. Sure, they laugh at us now. But once they're in the lake of fire, they won't be laughing then. Only the demons will be laughing at them. Don't worry, Pikachu. You have nothing to worry about. You're just a plushie. We're going to I love you too, bro. So anyway, I'm going to show you some more screenshots that this freaking crazy white woman has created. Yeah, she's crazy, isn't she? And she and her orgy are going to attack me. Well, she and her orgy have been attacking me on, on TikTok, which I had to report a lot of comments for spam. I had to report a lot of their comments for spam and defamation. And if you pedophile, and if you're watching, and if, if you and your orgy are watching this, if you call me transphobic or homophobic or any kind of thing, I will sue you in court for slander and libel and defamation. You're right, Pikachu. I should calm down. God wants me to have a less critical spirit. Doesn't want me to have a critical spirit. So I'm gonna be less critical towards these people. Even though they even though they deserve to be criticized. But I'm gonna do the right thing in the eyes of the Lord. So yeah. Yes, it's fascinating to see how stupid these people are. Yes, Pikachu. These people, they like to act like they're so tough, they're so cool. But the moment someone like J.K. Rowling says only women straight, they start to cry and piss in their gender-neutral diapers. Pikachu. What, Pikachu? That Jaden person and her orgy are stinky? That's not nice, Pikachu, even though that's true. <laughs> but, according to the Bible, good will be called evil and evil will be called good. And that heterophobe is, called, is evil and she's called good. I'm good and she's called evil. But I'd rather stand with God and be judged by the world than stand by the world and be judged by God. So, you fascists can call me names all you want. I stand with the Lord, but God says I'm a good person. God loves me for who I am. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Truth Social. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.